You gotta, 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 on a high alert all over the world, including this country, because of terrorist threats. But we don't let anybody on the base or in the recruiting office carry weapons. Now, I don't understand how much sense that makes. I mean, the only sense it makes is we've got four dead Marines on our soil because of a rabid dog. Yeah, you 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 got some people who are going to try and kill you, but the only thing you can do is run and hide. That doesn't make any sense at all. I'm a big believer in the fact that an armed society is a polite society. The rabid dogs get to wipe out innocents and soft targets and then live the rest of their lives at our expense in jail unless they happen to kill themselves. Somehow that seems like a bit of convoluted logic to me, but convoluted logic seems to be the law of the land. Everybody lives in their own little bubble. You get yourself set up so that the only news you want to watch is the news that agrees with you. All of your Facebook news feeds are not news feeds. They're specially selected to make you happy. And your friends are selected because they think like you most of the time. We do not spend any time seeing anything that is different than the way we think. And by God, once you fall into that bubble, you get hardened and you become combative. And that's not the way America is supposed to be. We're supposed to interact with everyone. No one says you have to like them, but you got to learn to tolerate them. And we're not even into tolerating anymore. Every day, someone's offended by something and they must be stopped. They must be taken out of, of my sight. That's crap. That's not the way America was set up, for God's sake. Two people hearing the same thing in a wig out that I've, I've posted on the Internet one person will say, you libtard, what is wrong with you? That's why America sucks. Da, 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 da. But the, another person will say, oh, you conservative a-hole, how can you possibly think that way? I said the same thing. Two different people heard it, but they're in their own little bubble. And I just It's not the way it's supposed to be. Earlier this week, just to show you that the bubble is pretty twisted, earlier this week the president gives a press conference for like an hour and a half about his deal with Iran. Now, before you go, oh, the worst deal ever made, have you read it? If you haven't read it, then you don't know. All you're doing is mouthing uh, an opinion that someone gave to you. That's not thinking. That's not logical. That's not the way America is supposed to work. But going back to my other point, the president talks about this for an hour and a half. One of the headlines the next day, they come from a question that was asked in the last two minutes about what will we do about the Medal of Freedom that we gave to Bill Cosby, and that's the headline. Oh, my God. It's this time of year that I just throw up my hands and say, I'm done. I'm just, I'm just done. I can't do it anymore, wallowing in the madness that is the news so I can try and do a good wig out. And some are good, some are bad. They all can't be gems, you know what I mean? But the fact is, I've had it. I am leaving for two weeks of vacation. When I come back, I will be medicated and motivated and ready to go. And I hope you will take advantage of this weekend for yourself so that when you head back into the slave pit on Monday, you too will be medicated and motivated. Let us pig out, bork out, and freak out, for this weekend is now in session, and like Fred Flintstone, I'm a yabba-dabba doing out of here, because the weekend is rolling, and we gotta, 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 gotta,